In this video, I'm going to be introducing the media library, or more appropriately, the uploads plugin. What we're going to be talking about is basically file upload with some extra functionality. You're going to be able to upload the file by making a post request to the slash upload endpoint, which is going to be covered extremely thoroughly in the following videos. So this is just going to be a quick overview. And uh, the couple of extra points that I want to mention regarding the media library, this new addition that came after version 20, version beta.20 of Strapi, is that your images will automatically be optimized. So they're not going to be cut, but they're going to be optimized the second you upload them. And then for each picture you upload, you're also automatically going to receive automatic cropped version of your picture. Specifically, Strapi will generate a thumbnail with a maximum width of 245 pixels and a height of 156 to show them to you in the Strapi panel. And also there's going to be three breakpoints that will automatically trigger the uh, cropping of your picture to those sizes. Uh, more appropriately, the uh, image will not be uh, the format of the image will not change. It simply will have a maximum width of 1,000 pixel or 750 pixel or 500 pixels. And you can look uh, at how this is done in the Strapi plugin, specific in the services under the file called image-manipulation.js. All these functionality is provided by Sharp, which is the open source trusted way to approach image manipulation. So it's extremely high quality and extremely well done. In the following few videos, you're going to see every single imaginable example of uploading files because this is one of the most important, hi most highly requested feature that everybody seems to be uh, wanting a demonstration of. There's also going to be a file upload example section in which you will literally see me build every single variant from the vanilla JavaScript versions to the React versions in which we do unbounded file upload, bounded file upload, multiple file uploads. So you're going to see all of them. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what you will see when you get started with Strapi. So the second you install Strapi, so I have just a, a fresh installation with basically nothing on it. And you're going you're gonna to see on the left uh, that you have this media library entry. And uh, uploading a file is as simple as clicking on upload. And then you can use the drag and drop feature or you can click on it to select an image and then it's going to be uploaded. You can see that my image has 323 kilobytes of uh, size and most likely it will be re-uploaded and it will change a little bit in size. So sometimes the pictures don't change drastically, but I can assure you that they actually get optimized. So an example should be the Gatsby download image, this big picture here, 56 kilobytes. When uploaded, changes to 47 kilobytes. So it does get optimized. Additionally, for each of these pictures, we're also going to be able to see uh, a bunch of properties. Specifically, if I click on this picture here, I can, uh, first of all, I can download it, which is nice. I can also get the link so I can share it around. And uh, this time is the full link, which is an improvement from previous version. You can even delete it. But most importantly, you can add your SEO stuff, your name, alternative text, and caption. This is really useful when you're working on SEO. It's kind of uh, a given, but uh, uh, you know, it's a very welcome addition. So this optimization side, which uh, we'll see in a second, we can actually go in the settings page by clicking here on settings and then going in the media library options. And this is how you can either enable the responsive uh, friendly uploads or enable the side optimization, basically the, the, the size optimization that I showed you a second ago. So this is how you can set those up. Um, by looking at the source code, there will be more options, but as of now, they're not available. Most likely, they will be rendered available in the future. Or alternatively, you should be able to override the default uh, uh, service that uses, uh, th that, you know, that crops and optimizes the images in case you need uh, to do that. So with that said, let's look into the actual uh, coding. So something we could do would be to set the rows and permission to public. Uh, also, we can see programmatically, I can open up the uploads by going in roles and permission, public, upload, which is still the old logo of upload, even though it's called media library here. But, um, you know, you're going to get used to that. But anyway, we can get all the picture by doing find. Or we can get one by using the find one endpoint, which I can open up. And then I can go in, in a postman and I can make a, a get request to upload. So, and it's going to be a get request. 
it's going to be slash upload wasn't it let me just quickly check every time you can look here so it's going to be slash upload slash files and uh, we can get it i think i have an old token from a previous session sorry about that but there we go we get back the pictures this one is one picture the picture of id one and you can see that it has a format key with a bunch of other properties. One of them is called thumbnail, then large, then medium, and then small, which means that I have my alternative cropped versions. And you can see this URL here is cut off because uh, this is being served by the local file provider, which means that it's assuming that you're going to be using the API URL as a prefix for it. However, if you were to use an upload provider here in the URL field, you would actually get the complete URL. So working with the local version actually is more complicated than working with the uh, provider given version. Uh, and that's why in the, uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up the upload provider. And then you're going to have a bunch of other videos with tons of examples. If there's any example that I didn't cover, make sure to use the Q&A functionality to ask me a question. And uh, if uh, I see that many people need help for that, I'll also make a video for it. But you 100% get your question answered. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next section.